Hi, I'm Rich Ferguson and welcome to the Unorthodox Collection. I'm very excited to share with you tons of moves I've come up with over 15 years as a full-time magician. Now these moves are very useful in my everyday magic and I hope they'll be useful for you too. To start with, this DVD is going to be broken into two main sections. The first part is going to be devoted to the main utility move I call the Fallout. And now it's a really weird utility move that I've come up with that's kind of a hybrid between a second deal, a palm, a double lift, a side still. You're going to see it in a minute and I hope you enjoy it. It lets you do many, many different things with it. The second half of the DVD is going to be devoted to just a whole variety of unorthodox moves that are basically uh, moves that are somewhat common in magic, some that aren't, and they're things that I've come up with by seeing uh, maybe some things on TV when I was younger and trying to reverse engineer it like we all do, and I've come up with things that maybe aren't even that common in magic, some of which are completely unheard of according to some guys that have helped me do the history on this DVD. So I'm really excited to share those with you. And uh, before we move on, I wanted to give you a little bit of a little history of me as well, so you know uh, kind of how I tick and where I've come from and why it, is, why it is that I've come up with the moves I've come up with. So obviously I'm Rich Ferguson, and uh, I started doing magic really late. I wish I had the uh, the uh, support and the opportunity to have done magic when I was younger, but I just didn't. And I started doing magic in my mid-20s. That's when I first discovered it. I never even knew what magic was. I was very into human behavior and profiling and all that kind of stuff. So I was into psychology, and magic was a really good fit for me. I grew up in uh, a city called Salinas in California. I grew up on the streets, and... Uh, just give you a, just a quick nutshell. I, I got adopted at 12. I got taken out of a really interesting situation at 12. Adopted, luckily, uh, at, at, and I got moved down to San Luis Obispo, uh, California, where I live now. And uh, I didn't learn to read till I was 12. So the way I way I learned was very uh, through observation, trial and error, reverse engineering, and things like that. I, I mean, I'm fast on my feet. I think I have uh, you know common sense and street smarts, and I think that's what got me through school and life. And I sure wish I discovered magic in junior high or high school, but I didn't. I was kind of a prankster, but I, I just didn't do magic. So to fast forward, when I did discover magic, I absolutely loved it, but I didn't have any access to someone to teach me, to mentor me. I didn't have any books or DVDs. There weren't any magic shops where I lived. So I just saw a little bit of it here and there on TV, and I kind of just played and dabbled with cards and coins and just kind of came up with what is pretty basic stuff in magic. I just kind of re-engineered things and came up with my own versions of things. But through that process of doing that for many, many years, I became a professional magician. I decided to quit my job and I loved entertainment, so I started doing that. And for two to three years, I still had never seen a magic, magic book, a magic DVD, and it was all, my, my entertainment was based on humor, human behavior, and just some of the weird tricks I, I just kind of re-engineered that I had seen that I know are common in magic. And uh, from there, things progressed to where you start to learn, as you all know, in magic, you start learning second deals and top changes and all these different techniques that many magicians do, but I just came up with my own variation of those, or my, I, I, you know, I would sit down and, how did they do this? How did they do this? You watch these gambling movies and you see that they're sliding cards from inside the deck out, so I sat down and came up with what I thought was the method. You know, flash, fast forwarding several years, once you start meeting other professional magicians, you quickly learn, huh, you spent a lot of time spinning your wheels when you could have just read it in some book somewhere. But on the other side, the beauty of it, especially in my situation, doing it all on my own, is there were a few things I came up with that even some really great magicians out there go, that's, that's crazy, I, that's, that's brand new. So I hope that there's some things in this DVD that you also find that are brand new, a little unorthodox, but I think that you're going to find they're very useful in your magic. And I'm going to quit talking. I want to get to teaching you what some of these moves are because I'm going to try to condense as uh, much time as we can in this DVD to make room for the moves.